Welcome to another Lumion tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. We're going to be covering another Lumion 10 feature, the Terrain Cutter. This is a nifty little tool, a nifty utility that is definitely going to help a lot of users, especially those frustrated with grass growing through their pools and their scenes. Um, there's been ways around this before that users like me, you know, have been able to solve easily, but a lot of users are really stumped and frustrated. And I'm really glad Lumion's had this simple tool to overcome this problem that shouldn't be a problem. We fixed it and let's find out how to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial talking about the new landscape cutter utility. This is a great new tool that just helps take a lot of steps out of a frustrating process sometimes when we're just trying to get our model into Lumion and not have grass and, and other elements sticking into our floors, which I'm, I'm sure many of you who have had to utilize, people come across this in Revit and SketchUp or whatever software. It's just a little, it's just a little hiccup that happens when we bring in models and place them onto Lumion's grass and the grass grows through. There's ways of fixing it that we'll go over, but I'm going to talk about how the landscape cutter makes this so much easier and really just makes the whole process less of a hassle. So it's in, found right here in the new location of utilities in Lumion 10 place. And we have all of our tools here and the new one's called Cut, la Landscape Cutter. And notice that we c it says we can only have two placed in our model, so we have to use them wisely. So what I'm going to do is just do a quick workflow with uh, downloading a model from the warehouse. So I just quickly found a model really quick. I like this one because I guarantee you that this grass plane is probably yeah, right underneath there. And I'm gonna assign that to be grass and it's gonna start growing through the floor, as it does. <laughs> and also we have a pool which will also have grass in it. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded that model and have it open here in SketchUp. It is almost identical to what you can just download here. I have a link to this model, full credit to, uh, to Fu Gong Li, the creator of this model, I assume. Uh, I've gotten rid of the SketchUp trees and did a little bit of cleaning up some flickering surfaces in the pool, just for this example. But feel free to try this with any model here. So I'm going to go ahead and start a live sync here in SketchUp, and that will fire up in Lumion 10 here. Fired up nine. Okay. So there is our model right here. Okay, so there's our model right here. Let's find its origin. Set ourselves to imported models. Stick it somewhere in the middle here. This is the nature forest scene that you start off with. Scene at forest environment. I just started off in there. I gave myself a little bit more space with the trees to make room for this building. And here's our SketchUp model as it comes into Lumion. So, first thing we'll probably want to do is maybe just lift it up a little bit off the ground and we're going to assign this SketchUp grass to be Lumion grass. And how much you want to bet, yep, exactly. We have grass growing in the living room. Wow, look at that fireplace. So, th this is extremely common, as we were explaining. Now, the correct way of dealing with this before is still a best practice for those new to this problem or not sure how to fix it. Now, when I build models, I do what I can to fix this. The problem is, this ground plane here has grass assigned to grow on it all throughout here even though we have the house right here. Best practice would essentially be to make sure we trace out the building footprint. 
in here I could also just do this intersect with the model and delete like right here too if I do that live synced that does fix the problem that is best practice make sure you don't have terrain layers sitting underneath your floors or your other surfaces because the grass will poke up through but let's go ahead and go back pretend I didn't do that or this is a much more complex scene where I just don't want to spend 10 minutes or an hour making sure this is this is all perfect like that maybe we didn't model it we didn't have control or we're in a rush so now we have Lumion Lumion's landscape cutter tool to make this much easier so I'm going to find the landscape cutter here in the utilities place and landscape cutter it's just selected here so it starts off with this little square but kind of like those uh those water planes you can use it kind of reacts like this we're going to place it and we can stretch it so there it is let's go to select so there's our master where we can move it and we just move these nodes and notice as we move this it is eliminating that grass now because we only get two I wouldn't try to get too crazy with the exact this is gonna have to be pretty rough because we don't have we can't afford more than two of these in the scene so we're just gonna kinda do what we can here and also noticed of course the grass is going in the pool the one way you could fix this problem too is by doing the height landscape tool and uh, let's push size down and just lowering it like this that's one solution but we don't have to do any of that with this tool so let's go ahead and stretch this out to about there here and that cleans up most of what we got here. Obviously, you don't want to bleed over because then we lose our plane right here. It's literally taking this rectangle and extruding it all the way down and saying, nothing goes here. Nothing can grow here. Or any materials below this point are not going to be growing. And I, I haven't really experimented too much of what the up-down does for this because I know it shoots it down. But just for simplicity's sake here and we do have grass there so that's a little tricky here so definitely some playing with here to get it just right but we can now take and place a second one to get the rest of that out of the way Oops. take this stretch this out about here and get that whole deck and in this case it works uh, this is a very simple model and I showed how easy it is to do it the correct way of fixing it in the model say we don't have access to the model the models heavy it's gonna take half an hour to open and we just want to fix something right now Lumion's give us some excellent utilities to just quickly take care of that maybe just a small section that you're trying to troubleshoot or it's more difficult and we have our scene all set up here without grass growing inside maybe just some refining to do in some specific areas you only get two so utilize them as you as you as you can and of course you know we could go through here and go through here and start adding materials and such to make this look a lot better but for sake of time that is that is the landscape cutter tool that's so it, it again it takes that red plane that you set up and you see it red right here it just extrudes straight down cuts everything below so there's no grass coming through that's 
really it's it's that simple i just want to make sure i showed a good example i've definitely i used to jump into the warehouse to practice speed creating some models and renderings and i always i come across this issue where there's grass poking up through the ground and i'd have to jump back into the model live syncs made that easier now too and again, remember best practices of managing your model and making sure that anything you set to be a, a nature plane that's going to grow grass, just make sure that that's not showing up underneath your building. But, you know, every project's different. Every situation's different. It's nice just having a quick tool to make our lives easier, the project's more streamlined, and yeah, just make Lumion take over the hard part from here. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, like, subscribe. Feel free to leave any comments, um, any questions, or, or anything you see, um, or any future tutorials you would like me to cover. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, guys.